I, I forgot about my rotation altogether when I was EDC and this guy and uh, I just didn't want to let go it was just so good of an EDC I did not want to let it go Right, we got the Kershaw leak also, which is like an old metal exposed design as well. So very, very comparable. Nice right there as far as the aesthetic goes. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel, and today we're going to be reviewing this guy right here, the CJRB Pyrite. This is an awesome EDC. This guy has seen so much pocket time. You guys have no idea. I've been EDCing this guy for a couple of months now, so I definitely have some substantial feedback to provide you guys with. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So what are we dealing with on this guy? So we're dealing with a AR RPM9 steel on the blade, which from what I've uh, researched is a very nice uh, budget, but still solid uh, steel from CJRB. Uh, this is a CJRB knife, of course. So we have a drop point uh, blade style on this guy. It is stone wash, as you can see. The whole knife is actually stone washed and it just gives you the whole exposed metal look to it. This guy has some G10 options in black and some other colors, but I just have had to get this guy and the old exposed metal uh, aesthetics because to me it's just uh, it definitely scratches that itch right there there's some knives that I like with G10 there's some knives that I like with my Carta but man when they give me the option to get an old metal knife uh, I'm gonna go for it I'm definitely gonna go for it and that is exactly what I did with this guy just like I mentioned on the last video talking about the Reich P801 I feel like these two are like brothers from another mother right because look at them right they are somewhat so similar right the same stone wash look to them all around obviously the right p801 is going to be a little bit longer All right we got the kershaw leak also which is like an old metal exposed design as well so very very comparable knife right there as far as the aesthetic goes obviously the right is going to be a little bit longer the leak is going to be a little bit shorter right but yeah this uh these are the three musketeers as far as the all exposed metal in my collection and i love every single one of them uh probably equally if i had to choose one over the other i probably have a very hard time but you guys get the idea let's continue doing some size comparisons here let's do the paramilitary 2 right there that's going to be a much longer knife and wider too the paramilitary or pair 3 sorry pair 3 uh, definitely more comparable to the pair 3 uh, as far as length goes right they are about the same uh, the pm2 is going to be a little bit of a longer knife let's see how it compares to the uh, smock spider coast smock yeah this guy's definitely gonna be a little bit longer right as you can see but just as wide right just as wide all right let's check here next to the Demco brothers right there is the shark's foot blade a Demco AD 20.5 and here's the clip point blade right there so you can see uh the pyrite is just a little bit smaller in length uh obviously the demcos are going to be a little bit wider too just because of this pointy section right here but again just giving you an idea of course that's what this whole comparison portion of the review is all about so if you own any of these knives or these knives are very common very popular at least it kind of gives you an idea kind of where the um pyrite ranks here it is next to the senka brothers that is the senka saxi here is the Senka Crawley, right? The Crawley is gonna be a much longer knife, but the blade is gonna be very, very similar, right? Uh, if it wasn't because of the sharpening choil being a little bit more pronounced on the Pyrite, uh, that blade uh, design will be very, very similar. Uh, of course, the Saxi, right, just has a much wider blade right there so you can see now we're talking here with the rat model one this guy's gonna be huge compared to the pyrite checking it out here next to the next to the rat model two the rat model two obviously is a smaller brother right so it's uh, somewhat more comparable to the rat model two than it is to the rat model one if i'm being honest right there you guys be the judge of that let's do some quick carry profiles here right next to the rat model one the rat model one is obviously going to be a much uh, thicker knife right there as you can see the rat model 2 is more comparable i want to say still a little bit still a little bit wider a little bit thicker right than the pyrite and next to the saxi saxi is going to be thicker of course no doubt about that same deal here with the crawley you know, the crawley is still going to be a little bit thicker next to the ad20 0.5 very comparable to the 80 20.5 this version here with the uh gravery scales all right pair of three here we go pair of three a little bit thicker just by by hair probably and last but not least the pm2 pm2 also a little bit uh thicker right there as you can see all right so what does it look like when it's on in your pocket what is the length and height in the pocket what does that look like here it is next to the paramilitary two the pair of three obviously the spider co knives with the spidey hole are going to be much wider knives clearly all right let me put in the uh swap in the smoke Bruh. the smoke 
let me add in the smoke right there so you guys can see the spider coat smoke is maybe comparable right on the width right there definitely more comparable to the pyrite than the pm2 or pair of three right here are the demco 80 20.5 brothers right these are also going to be a little bit wider because of how much the blade sticks out from the actual handle next here to the Senkot brothers the Senkot Saxi and Senkot Crawley there you have it right definitely more comparable to the Crawley than it is to the Saxi no doubt about that the Ontario Rap Model 1 and Ontario Rap Model 2 uh, yeah the Ontario Rap Model 1 is definitely going to be much wider right and the Rap Model 2 is a lot a little slimmer for sure so it's going to be somewhere in between there as you can see and last but not least for consistency purposes there you have it right there is the Kershaw leak right and the Reich P801 so those are very very comparable probably around the same width on all three of them okay going back to the action again this guy this thing fires like crazy like just just hear it right and it's very very fidgety and it doesn't take a lot for the blade to come back and shut close right it's very drop shoddy say what it's very drop chuddy 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 <laughs> It's very drop shotty as you can see, right? Uh, definitely closes very nicely on its own. And you got multiple deployment options, right? Uh, so as far as that goes, I want to say definitely it is very comparable to the Saxi. For example, you got uh, button deployment on this one. You got thumb and reverse flick, right? So you could do all of those with the Saxi. Same story with the Crawley, right? So uh, very similar fidgetability right there. This could be a whole separate video on fidgety knives. I want to say definitely an edge over the Civivi Elementum button lock because on the button lock, you only have the button as the only deployment option. So there's only a limit to fidgetability right there. I know knives are tools or <laughs> somebody in the comment is going to go off saying, you know, why, why does it matter for a knife to be fidgety? Well, for a lot of EDC guys, the fidgety factor definitely plays uh, a lot into the knife that you decide to carry. So again, just want to give you some some quick thoughts right there on button locks so let me tell you guys about this guy what has the experience been over the last few weeks edc and this guy i gotta tell you it's been months now it's been months since i've had this knife and uh, i want to tell you this guy has seen a ton and i mean a ton of pocket time this guy has probably been in my pocket the longest out of all the knives there was a point where i just threw this knife in my pocket for weeks on end and i, I wasn't even thinking about any other knife so if that doesn't tell you something i don't know what does i i, I had to i had to actually force myself to get this guy out of my pocket and then put something else in my rotation I, I forgot about my rotation altogether when I was EDC and this guy and uh, I just didn't want to let go it was just so good of an EDC I did not want to let it go uh, and uh, during the time I've been EDC and this guy over and over again <laughs> this is one of those knives that not only does it get the job done right but it's just so so fidgety and satisfying right this is money well spent right here uh, check the links below in the description by the way there are affiliate links that do have about the channel and no extra cost to you but i want to say this guy is going to be somewhere around the 50 55 dollar ballpark right and for that price i mean you are getting a very solid uh edc to say the least so if you guys made it this far you guys are the real mvps i hope that i've been able to give you guys some substantial feedback any questions that you may happen to have about this knife and you want to ask me in the comments please don't hesitate i'll be answering all questions on the comments that i didn't get a chance to cover on the review i definitely don't want the review to be an hour long so i'm just giving you some quick rapid fire uh feedback impressions things that i've been able to observe over the last couple of weeks edc and this guy but yeah definitely feel free to reach out in the comments ask me any questions you may happen to have if there's anything in future uh videos that you would like to see right definitely let me know um you know we can definitely add that for future videos as well speaking of fidgety knives guys by the time you're done watching this video it's very possible that the sandcock crawley this guy right here with four different deployment options it's probably live in the channel so if that is the case i'll put a card right here that has been it i hope you guys have enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all next time peace